Winning entry and best utter in the class, Old Mill Trey Gilberta ET, exhibited by Elite Dairy, Peter Vale and Ken Main of Copaic, New York. Entry 888 was third in the class. Entry 890 stood sixth. Entry 892 was fourth. And added entry 3002 stood fifth in the class, Reedland Mandel Elise. The class now in the ring is the junior two-year-old cow class. First place award in this class will be presented by Fix Brown Swiss of Boyden, Iowa. The Bread and Owned Award presented by Brothers Three Brown Swiss, the Hushan family of Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, and the Best Utter Rosette presented by the Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin. The Junior Award in this class will be presented by Radical Genetics, the Rux family of Okeechobee, Florida.
our judges have completed their placings in the junior two-year-old cow class. I'd like to ask the winning juniors to please take a step forward as I announce their names. Second place junior in the class goes to entry 910, Olson's Mackendall Agenda Mary, exhibited by Nicholas Aachen of Ambia, Indiana. That's great, go ahead and applaud these kids. <laughs> Our winning junior entry is entry 918, Christine Myers, Zeus Chip, exhibited by Cassandra Meyer of Slinger, Wisconsin. Third place in the class goes to entry 902, Radical Agenda Chelsea, exhibited by Skylar DeGroft of Cave City, Kentucky. Best utter in the class goes to entry 894, Twinkle Hill, Ms. Total Tracy, exhibited by John and D. Winkleman and Michael Stady of Watertown, Wisconsin. Second place honors go to entry 923, Pit Crew Wonder to Die, exhibited by Pit Crew Genetics of Forreston, Minnesota. And the winning entry and best bread known in the class is entry 922, Top Acres Bonanza Wispy Tea, exhibited by Wayne E. Slyker and Chris Durbin of St. Paris, Ohio. Congratulations. And now for his reasons on the class, Judge Lammers. What well, a really nice group out here, and I think the top two cows sort themselves to the top for me. The first cow over the second. She's just a little more zapped down. I prefer the dariness, the silkiness, the hide, the cleanliness up through that head and neck that she shows me today when she's out on the move. In addition, you get behind her, she shows me a little more quality in that rear udder today over our cow in second. But that's nothing to take away from our second place cow, a cow you love, the depth of body, the depth of heart that she has, giving her that advantage over our cow in third in her mammary system. She's particularly snugger on the left side of her four udder attachment. When you get behind her, she's a little more balanced at the top of the rear udder than our third place cow. In addition, I prefer the foot on our second cow. She's a little stronger in that pasture and uh, handles the legs a little more correctly than our cow in third. Third cow you love from the side. She's a really dairy pretty heifer. When she came in, I really uh, like this heifer a lot. Well, you get the analyze in that udder. I'd just like to change a couple things for me to get her up into that higher in the class. But she uses that advantage in dariness and style and balance to get over our really nice uttered cow here in Fourth, our third cow's a much fuller up through that front end. She's stronger in her chine. She's more chiseled down all the way through than our cow in fourth. Fourth cow, we did make best udder in the class. A cow, when you get behind her, you really appreciate the height and width, the rear udder that this cow has, the way those teats are set beneath the udder floor. Giving her that advantage over our cow in uh, fifth today, just on the snugness of that four udder attachment, she carries her udder a little higher above the hocks than the beautiful framed cow here in fifth. Fifth price cow, you love the size and scale and wing width that this cow has. Giving her that advantage over her cow in six. She's much more balanced on her udder floor than another really nice dairy cow coming out here in sixth. <laughs>